Just one of those days when everything's going wrong. Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's episode is just a random day in van life. In today's video, I try and fail to renew my passport. I go on a little bit of a rant and I have a minor injury. Van life is not all Instagram aesthetics and scenic views. And today is one of those days. So let's jump right in. I gotta look semi cute because I gotta get my passport photo taken today. So I've had my hair in these braids for a couple days since my shower. And let's see what happens. Right now, it's just all scattery because I slept in it like this. Bobby pin in there somewhere. That's a scary look. Some reinforcements of brush, some dry shampoo, and some hair oil. Oh boy. Every time I do my hair like this, I feel like I'm going to like a roller rink disco. 70s or something. The funky disco hair or like crimping, the crimping iron from the 80s, or was it the 90s, I don't remember. I'm probably gonna look back on this passport photo and be like, what the heck were you doing with your hair? But I don't care. It's exactly what was happening at the time, at this time in my life, so keeping it real. A lot going on here. Oh, this is the hair oil I use and I really love it. I've been using it for a long time. It's hair serum, argan oil, vitamin E by Her Styler. Got it on Amazon. The dry shampoo that I love to use that smells so deliciously delightful is the Not Your Mother's dry shampoo. The one I use is the purple can called Plump for Joy. Usually I get this at Walmart for $5, but they do have it on Amazon as well. It also, like it gets rid of like the oiliness, but it also volumizes the hair without leaving it with the white powdery stuff in your hair. It does have the white powder a little bit, but you just like, ruffle it up and it's fine. This is the orange mango. Quite honestly, I use this as an air freshener too because it smells so good. Okay, so the ends, because of how it was braided and you know it's rubber banded at the end, the ends are just straight. So it looks kind of weird, like all these waves and then it just goes straight. So I'm gonna pop a few little waves at the end. And I have this cutest little travel curling iron and it's also a straightener. I got this so long ago and it doesn't have a big power draw so I can plug it right into my outlet. It's called a V. And it's so cute. If you just want to use a curling iron, it's regular, but if you want to flat iron, it's awesome. So I can use this for all sorts of styles. And the great thing about this is that the inside is heat resistant. So once I plug it in, I can leave the curling iron here and it doesn't burn my countertops. Let's see if this is hot enough. That's not the look I wanted. what I'm looking to achieve here. It's pretty much cut straight across. I think that's a little better. Pop some oil in there. All right, good enough. I'm ready for the day, but are you ready to become part of the best community on the internet? The snack pack, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, throw a like on this video and keep watching till the end. There are more unfortunate events just around the corner. Okay, so I got my passport photo, photos, and you know, something that just does not sit well with me is I called this morning, I called a few places and most places were $15 for the passport photos. You know, I'm frugal, so I called around and I found one that said $12.99. So that means like $13. So I got my, two pictures they're not that cute but whatever and then she's like it'll be $15 and I'm like I called this morning and they said it was $12.99 she's like well there's tax I just didn't even think about it that still seems high and so I just look on here and it says passport photo set of two $13.89 that's a whole dollar more than you quoted me over the phone bro and then tax it adds up to 15 all right I got all my paperwork ready 
a check. Who even uses checks anymore? But you got to send a check or money order. I got my passport, my current one that you got to submit with this, and all my paperwork. So I'm gonna go back in and send it off. You know what? I don't like to cert things. Now, I'm not gonna say this is shady, but in my mind, it's kind of on the edge. So I just went back into the postal annex where I got the picture taken. And I was like, I just, I have my envelope ready. I just need regular postage on this. And then she's like types in all my information. And I'm like, do you need to type in my name, address, phone number, email address and all this? She's like, well, we're establishing you as a new customer. I'm like, I just need postage. I, I'm not trying to. And then I'm like, how much is it? And she's like, $15.95. $15.95 to send an envelope? I said, what about just regular postage? Like first class mail? She's like, we only send priority and, and you have to send your passport renewal by priority. I said, is that what the paper says? She's like, well, we won't do it. We only send it by priority. Bro, I'm reading the paper right here. It says, because of the sensitivity of the enclosed documents, passport services recommends using trackable mailing service. Recommends doesn't mean you have to, unless I'm reading this wrong. No, it doesn't say it. It doesn't say you have to send it priority. I don't know, $15.95 on just a mail and envelope when I don't even need this passport back immediately. I'm not going anywhere outside of the US. The heck, bro. Now I'm gonna drive over to the, drive over to the post office seven minutes away, which is not a big deal, but lady, just put the postage. Uh. Also, it's 89 degrees and it's hot. Here we go. brain is just like whoa so I go into the post office and there's a super long line so I'm just waiting and I start thinking I got my passport in 2013 10 years would be 2023 so I look at my current passport and sure enough it expires next June I'm over here thinking, I only got a couple months to renew this passport, and it's good for another year. And I did like a quick Google search, and I said that if you renew it too soon, you lose if you lose the year your years or whatever you pay for when you renew it. So like if you renew it two years early, you've lost two years of what you paid for. So now, I got these pictures for no reason. And I filled out this paperwork for no reason. I spent half the morning doing this for no reason. I think I'm still going to use these pictures next year because hopefully I'll look about the same. So I'll just hold on to this and then I'll just redo the dates on here and send it in. <sighs> and I didn't want to wait in line once I made that revelation. So I still don't know how much it's going to cost to send it. So I mean, I'm going to go get something to eat and then, and then lay down. My, my brain isn't working. Okay, so I just used a little bit of hearts of romaine and cut up some spinach and some carrots. And then I had some ginger dressing from another bag of salad that went bad <laughs> that I just kept the dressing of. And this is lunch. Just one of those days when everything's going wrong. Okay, so I sat in the library for many hours working on some planning for the channel and I got all set up in this little nook area and then I realized I forgot my glasses in the van. So for all those hours I sat there just squinting and stressing my eyes out and then right before I was leaving I went to the bathroom and was washing my hands, looked up and realized Glasses were on top of my head the whole time at the library. I'm done. I'm done. 
After that, I decided it was time for a nice hot shower to take away the stress. So I went to a nearby Planet Fitness, waited for a while, and no hot water. <sighs> went to a second shower, still no hot water. And the third shower, still no hot water. At that point, a Planet Fitness employee came into the locker room to do some cleaning. And I was like, do you guys not have hot water? And he was like, oh yeah, we've had lots of complaints for the women's locker room for hot water being out. And they've tried to fix it, but they just haven't gotten anywhere with it. And then to make matters worse, he was like, but the men's locker room has steaming hot water. And I was like, can I take a shower in the men's locker room? He's like, no, we can't let you do that. So he left the locker room. Then I went to the bigger shower stall, which is designated for disabled. So I don't like to use those showers, but I tried the water and it was at least warm. So I jumped in and got a decent shower it still never got hot but I at least got a shower for the night at that point I was over the whole day so I know it's emotional eating but I decided to get a giant burrito and that made me feel a little better so I was going to this hotel to park and I was in this back area neighborhood and there was a stop sign on a downhill slope that I just saw at the last minute because it's dark so I put on my brakes and my drawer in the back just pops open even though there's a little screw holding it in. So I tried to close it and it's stuck in place. So now I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do because I need that drawer closed so I can get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. And just in general, I can't, the drawer cannot be open all the time. After I parked, I took a deep breath and decided to try to figure it out that night. So I fiddled with the track a little bit and got it loose enough for me to force it almost closed. There's still a gap that I can't figure out why I can't get it all the way closed, but I'm gonna deal with that another day. Okay, so in addition to lining my salad bowls with crock pot liners for easy cleanup, the Dollar Tree, they sell these five for a dollar. They're usually more square like a loaf pan, but I just open it up kind of like a little bowl. And that way I could put things in here to cook in the air fryer or pressure cooker or whatever then when i'm done i can just crumple it up and throw it away now i know everybody's gonna be like that's wasteful blah 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 but also so is wet wasting water when you live in a house honestly i think it's kind of the same thing i don't know the stats but when people start saying you're wasting you're doing this you're ruining the environment none of us are perfect i do try to conserve and i do try to use less plastic and stuff like that but if I go to a fast food today for breakfast, they're gonna put it in some kind of container, styrofoam, plastic, or whatever. I could do a dish, but I'm about to make oatmeal. And oatmeal sticks to dishes, and it's just gonna be whatever. I don't I don't wanna do dishes, so that's my rant. Now, I made these pre-made oatmeal packs a while ago, and all I gotta do is pour it in the container. I do reuse this for making more oatmeal packs, so one to one, I'm conserving. Today I'm using soy milk instead of oat milk. And I put a little extra to make it more soupy because it kind of condenses down. I'm gonna put this bowl into here just to container in case it boils over. Put it on high for three minutes. Boom, nope, boom. So I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of the lightly salted pistachios for some crunch. Not too many because you know, I don't want to overindulge. And I have my, oh, and I have my breakfast oatmeal. Delicious. I mean, it's not a donut. But for oatmeal, doctored up a little bit, it's fine. And after I made my oatmeal, I went to grab the pan and burn my arm. This is shaping up to be a delightful day. Hello, snack pack bucket. What came out of my mouth right then? It's not all Instagram and rainbows. What? Does that make sense? In today's video, we are, uh, I'm ready for the day, but are you ready to become part of the best? And keep watching until the end. There's more.
There's more. There's more. Well, what is it? There are more. Uh, there are more unfortunate. Enunciate. Jeez. <laughs> Snack time. Snack time.